Hello, America. My name is Vernon Jones, and I'm a state representative from the great state of Georgia. As you can see, I'm a man of color, and I'm a lifelong Democrat, too. You may be wondering, why is a lifelong Democrat speaking at the Republican National Convention? And that's a fair question. And here's your answer. The Democratic Party does not want black people to leave their mental plantation. We've been forced to be there for decades and generations. But I have news for Joe Biden. We are free. We are free people with free minds. And I'm part of a large and growing segment of the black community who are independent thinkers, and we believe that Donald Trump is the president that America needs to lead us forward. This is no time for sleeping in the basement. Joe Biden has had 47 years to produce results, but he's been all talk and no action, just like so many of the Democrats who've been making promises to the black voters for decades. We've been their captive audience. When President Trump sought to earn the black vote, the Democratic Party leaders went crazy. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer literally started wearing kente cloths around the, the, the U.S. Capitol, as if pandering were enough to keep us satisfied. Let me tell you why I'm supporting our president. I grew up in the South, in Laurel Hill, North Carolina, Scotland County, the Green Pond community to be exact. My parents, Robin and Rufa Jones, built with their own hands a four-room cinder block home with no indoor plumbing. They had very limited education, but they instilled in us a strong work ethic that drove me from those tobacco fields of North Carolina to those hallowed halls of the Georgia General Assembly. My parents taught me if I believed in God, worked hard and treated every person fairly, there was no limit to what we could achieve. I attended North Carolina Central University, an historical black college. For generations, HBCUs have been the incubators that developed black scholars in math and science and religion, engineering and politics. They have been important springboards for the black success. But Democrats haven't treated them that way. When President Trump took office, he changed everything. He delivered historic funding to HBCUs, and he guaranteed it for 10 years, something that has never happened in the history of this country. That gave our HBCUs stability, the chance to grow, and produce the next generation of black leaders. That's right, Donald Trump did that. He's also supported school choice to ensure that no child, no matter their race or zip code, is left behind. Every child should have access to a quality education. But education is just the beginning. The president also built the most inclusive economy ever with record low unemployment for African Americans and record high participation in the workforce. He put opportunity zones in the Trump tax bill that would drive investment into our communities for decades to come. He put the interests of American workers, and especially black workers, first. That's right, Donald Trump did that. He delivered historic criminal justice reform. He ended once and for all the policy of inc incarceration of black people which has decimated our communities caused by no other than Joe Biden. Democrats wouldn't do it, Obama didn't want to do it, and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris definitely wouldn't do it. But Donald Trump did it. He's also working every day to make our communities safer. As a former executive of DeKalb County, Georgia, I directed one of the largest public safety departments in the Southeast. I've seen tragic shootings on both sides, officers killing citizens and citizens killing officers in the line of duty. Police officers are our fellow citizens. They live in our country. They have families too. They live in our communities. Unfortunately, Democrats have turned their backs on our brave police officers. They call it defunding. 
and it's a danger to our cities, our neighborhoods, and our children. Isn't it ironic that Democrat politicians have personal security to protect them? So why don't they forego their security and replace them with social workers, especially since that's what they want for you and me? Our police need more funding, not less, for frequent psychological examinations, for non-lethal remote restraint technology, and for more de-escalation and use of force training. These are the common sense solutions that President Trump supports, true, sincere police reform. That's right, Donald Trump did that too. Education, jobs, safety, security, on issue after issue, and in just a single term, he destroyed these negative forces that have victimized the black community for decades. He gave us the opportunity to rise. Now, you know, when I made the public announcement of my support for President Trump, all hell broke loose. I was threatened, called an embarrassment, and asked to resign by my own party. Unfortunately, that's consistent with the Democratic Party and how they view independent thinking black men and women. But I'm here to tell you that black voices are becoming more woke and louder than ever. The Democratic Party has become infected with a pandemic of intolerance, bigotry, socialism, anti-law enforcement bias, and a dangerous tolerance for people who attack others, destroy their property, and terrorize our own communities. That's what this election is all about. And that's why right now, more than ever, more than ever before, America needs Donald Trump in the Oval Office for another four years. God bless you and vote Donald J. Trump. Thank you.